In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design a very simple church flyer like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So a link to download all the resources that I'll be using will be in the description if you want to download and follow suit. And I intentionally got an additional resources for you so that you can spice up your creativity when you are doing this. Now without said and done, let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. So here in Photoshop, the first thing that we do is we're going to create a document for what we are going to do. I'm using Photoshop CS6, but this procedure should work with any current versions of Photoshop. So what I do is I'll go to file and then new over here and I'm going to change the measuring scale to inches and I'm going to input in here four by four. So we are doing this for Instagram or social media. So you can use four by four, eight by eight or 16 by 16. You go ahead and then you click OK. So once we have our documents like this, all that we're going to do is we're going to start from setting up the background. So we go into the resources and over here, I got these two backgrounds for you so you can use any one of them but then i prefer to go with this one so i'm going to drag it inside of photoshop and i'll leave it over here the background has already been created so we don't really need to do any extra work we just have to apply creativity over here and i'm going to double click on this one here i'll make sure that it is in the center so that it can fit the whole of the document and what i do next is i'll right click from here rasterize the layer now we don't want the edge to be this very hard so i'm going to add my layer mask to it and i'll choose my brush tool over here and you make sure that your foreground color is black your opacity is 100 percent and then you can brush off this area so i can brush off like this so that it can blend with the white background that we are using the white background we're going to maintain it because you're going to introduce another background which requires this background so if you want to blend it with any other thing there are a couple of ways you can check the other videos on how to do that so once you have it like this you go into the resources again and we have our second background so we will drag and drop this inside of Photoshop as well you place it over here and you understand from here that this also contains a white background but since you are leaving a background white we can just leave this white so that it can blend with the background so what we do is we are going to right click and flip this horizontal i just want this part the oil that is flowing from here and i can drag and push it over here you can take your time to kind of transform it but i think this looks good and then we can place it over there the next thing that we introduce will be our image so the pasta is right over here and i'm going to drag him and drop him as well i've already taken off the background but if you want to know how to do that a link will be in the description so i'm going to position him somewhere around here and i'm going to try to transform him to be a bit smaller like that and i can position him over here so now we are ready to add our test and this is going to be a very simple video so i'll go for my test tool the first font that i'll be using is called nexa bold a link to download all these fonts that i'll be using will be in the description as well so i'll left click over here and the test is ready here so i'm going to copy that i'll come into photoshop and i'm going to paste that so i'll take my time to transform it so you select it all you can bring your cursor to the double t over here and you can drag it to the left side and it's going to decrease that for you so once it gets to the point that you want you press ctrl a to select it all and then you can center it over here now we move it to the very top over here so that it can be positioned and we can press ctrl j to make a duplicate afterwards you drag it down like this and you're going to type in here present so the next test is present and then you can click ok and then you make another duplicate by pressing ctrl j again and then you can drag it over here you go into your resources the next one is a prophetic and that i'm going to change the font so i'll select it all paste it over here and i'll change the font to poppins but you can as well use the same thing because this nexa board looks pretty much like poppins if you can spot it over here the next test will be the main title that is the all night so we're going to press ctrl j again we're basically making a duplicate and we are doing a test 
test test so what we do is we're going to double click on it and select it all again go into the test and we have our all night here now let's switch the fonts we're going to change this font to a font called alba because we want it to stand out that is the main heading and we're going to make it bold so that it can be seen so present a prophetic all night and once i bring it over here it means the picture of the pasta is quite bigger so i can transform him down a little bit like that now this is the color code that i'm using if you are getting confused so right over here you can click ok and then ok now with this test what we're going to apply a bit of blending options to it so you right click on the layer go to the blending options from here and what we're going to add to it is a bevel and emboss so you click on the bevel and emboss you jump everything you leave pretty much everything and jump down straight to this particular gloss contour over here now we are going to make it a bit glossy okay you can basically take your time to try any of this one but what worked for me was this particular one so you can see the glossy part of it and you can click okay from here and you are good to go and right underneath of this one we're going to bring our theme here so i'll go for my test tool again let's go back to poppins very simple font which i love so much and we're going to uh test over here so we have this theme you can copy that and paste it over here take your time you press ctrl t to transform it but at this point we want to make everything right from this place to the very bottom here left aligned so what we're going to do is we can introduce our rulers so if your rulers is missing you can press ctrl and then r that is command r if you are on mac so let me quickly bring a ruler over here so this is going to guide us so i can select my theme here and then i can place it over here now let's make sure that it is left aligned so left aligned and then i can push it back over there so from there i'll make another duplicate bring it down go to my test and then i have overflow anointing i'll copy that and i can paste it over here now i can left align it and go to my toggle character and make sure that i open the leading a bit so that it can be open to overflow anointing like that let me just take time to do this okay so i'll select all of this one choose the semi bold over here and i can press ctrl t to transform it to make it a bit bigger like this and i can close the leading quite a bit like that as well now once we have our theme we want to bring in something that is going to symbolize our theme and our theme here says overflow and anointing so i got this particular image that quite symbolizes or represents or is in relation to our theme so what i do is i want it underneath of the theme right so i can come on top of the all night over here we want it and then or if you don't want to be in trouble you can even place it on top of the fresh oil over here on top of this one so i'll go into my resources and i can bring that that is why i got these two as well so if you are practicing you can basically use either of this but this worked so very fine for me so let me use this one and i can place it over here now because this already has a white background that is why i decided to leave the top part of the design white now you get the point right so i can basically place it over here and then i'm going to double click on this one now we, we don't want it to be this very bold and stuff so we're going to right click on it rasterize add a layer mask to it so we can brush it off like this so that it blends with the other background as well so we can even brush this side off like that and then from here we can select this layer now you have to note that there is a difference between the layer mask layer and then this particular the original layer so if you are applying any effect on this one it is directly affecting the layer mask and if you select this one if you can see the differences you see that when you select any one of them there is this round square that is around the layer so we select this particular layer and then we can apply a bit of composition on it to blend with this one we can't maybe get it accurately but if you take your time you might get it so the first one that we can do is we can apply a bit of hue and saturation and by pressing ctrl and then you your hue and saturation is activated and then you can add a bit of hue and saturation to this one so you can see that it is affecting it over here 
like that and then afterwards i can press control and then l to activate the levels and then i can dim the levels a bit like that and then i can click ok so once we're done with that we're gonna go back to the overflow anointing this particular one that is where we got to and then we can right click on that and go to the blending options we want to add a bit of gradient overlay so that this can stand out from the theme so we apply the gradient overlay first you click on the gradient overlay to apply it and then you can come to the gradient over here left click on it and inside your gradient you can apply a bit of gradient to it now i got one that perfectly fits this one so if you want to see the colors that i use here you go this is the first one and this is going to be the second one so right over there and you can click ok or if you don't like these colors you can actually try your own colors and once you're done you can click ok and then ok from here once we're done with that the last thing that we want to add will be the date time and then location and we want to bring it right underneath of this particular theme and to do that we're going to select our test over here and then we can left click i'm going to use a font called eth i intentionally decided to use a lot of font on this one so that you can update your font list i hope i'm being generous if that sounds like something that's quite okay and convincing for you we want to get to 20k and you can do that by helping us share these videos to social media handles and then inviting friends to come and learn for free we can start by copying the friday and i realized that i skipped the verse so we will add it very soon and we can change the color to very dark so we can go for this color here something very dark so that it blends with the yellow here we click ok then and we can press ctrl t to transform it i told you we're going to keep this left aligned don't forget that so we can push it over here so that it will be on the same line as the overflow so you can see the alignment arrangement over there and you can transform it a bit more like that and push it over here once you're done you make a duplicate ctrl j to duplicate it and then you can drag it over here go into your test and then you can select your 20th i decided to make this very bold because the date is as well very important another duplicate here and we can add the november okay so the november you can decide to add your year to it but if you don't like it that way that is your own cup of cocoa i hope you get that and then you can press ctrl t from here transform it a bit like this and then you can transform the 20th to be a little bit bigger also like that this friday looks very very big it's behaving like it's a boss so from there we can select the 20 from here make a duplicate and then we drag it from here and then we can add our time so we copy the time and you can paste it right over here paste and we're going to select the pm here go to the toggle character and we want to subscript it so we have the subscript option here and then we can click on that and then it is subscripted if that is even an english word so once you're done with that the last thing that we add will be our venue with the white we need something to cover the back a bit to make it more visible so we go to the blending options and then we can add drop shadow over here and we can increase or you can open the size anyhow you want it. but you can bear with me that this is more visible than this i hope no argument on that let me quickly add my verse before i forget so let me duplicate the theme here bring it down to this side and i have efficiency 518 here so i'll paste it and i'll select a very dark color for it as well so somewhere around here okay and i'll change the boldness to medium transform it to make it a bit smaller so i can position it over here now the last things that we want to add will be that of the symbols at the very face of this date so inside the resources the first one that we have is the date icon and i'm going to drag and drop that into photoshop and i'm going to position it at the date it is something that we've already used once in a while so 
I believe if you've been here for a while, you already have it. But if you don't, I'll leave links in the description if you want to download it. And the last one that we want to add will be the location. For that, I didn't get like a plan, so I got this one. Drag it inside of Photoshop so you double click on this one and then you can choose any of this one so the magic one tool here i can make a selection here hold shift shift basically helps you to make double selection so i can select here select all the backgrounds this one actually when you download it it looks like a png but it's not really a png that is deceiving in the highest order so you hit on delete when you are done and then you can press ctrl d to deselect move it to your documents that you are working on over here so one part didn't actually delete so let's select it and delete it and then you can press ctrl t to transform this one a bit and bring it over here so it is going to be at the very side of the reviewed so let me zoom in over here take your time to position it right over there let's quickly change the color by right clicking going to the blending options and then we would have overlay over there change the color to white click ok ok and you are done now a couple of things that you can do to make your whole design attractive is if you check the picture over here it looks very pale so you can select the past test picture from here right click on it and rasterize the layer because the effects that we're going to apply wouldn't work if it is not rasterized. Right? So you press Ctrl U to add a bit of saturation to it, and then you can press Ctrl L to level it up, something like that. Open the brightness a bit, and I think this looks good. We can also go back to this main background, the anointing oil background, and we can add a bit of saturation to it to make it a bit popping. I don't want to add too much, so somewhere around here, it's okay. And yes, anything that you want to add to this design will be at your own creative level. Remember, I've left all resources in the description in case you want to download and practice over. And if you have any questions, do leave it in the comment section or reach out to me on any of the social media handles at Innocent K. Boatin. I'll be right there. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. Let me know your comments, thoughts, suggestions, corrections, and recommendations in the comment section we are trying to reach 20k and it will mean a lot to me if you can share the videos and invite others to watch thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye